This morning, questions after more unidentified objects are discovered over U.S. and Canadian airspace. According to a senior administration official, this latest object was in the shape of an octagon, unmanned, and traveling near sensitive sites at an altitude of 20,000 feet. Hey, how's it going? So today, I want to look into the congressional briefings of the uh, UFO accounts. Uh, it looks like they have some pilots that they've been kind of kept quiet, or they kind of forced them to keep quiet. That's the latest information I've read. I think that I think it's, it's high time. It's been past time they should have come clean and just tell everything. There's a lot of soft disclosures going on on social media, but no big media report. Uh, I think that um, again, I don't know why they're hiding it. Just let everybody know. Let everybody know how to uh, deal with this. And I mean, personally, I think. If you follow any of you Christians out there, this is just basically uh, history repeating itself. If you follow the Bible, Genesis 6, they had the fallen angels that fell and they came and basically tried to integrate with humans and it was not a good idea. So I just think it's the same thing all over again. That's just my opinion. But it's just the fact that all the secrecy and all the hiding and it's just unnecessary. I mean, working with different governments, a lot of other governments have already disclosed a lot of things. They've disclosed uh, information about like things like Sasquatch or other UFOs or other anomalies out there. But for some reason, how, with the internet and everybody kind of communicating worldwide, you can't just keep a lid on it in one country and expect to, that to just stay that way. It's not. It just can't and it looks kind of it just looks it looks bad it just looks like uh unintelligent <laughs> because it's like everybody else is confessing that this is true and then you're trying to keep it under wraps um again just expose the information and uh i just put faith in the public that they will be mature about it uh even though uh based on what some of the government representatives said about the technology to turn everybody into charcoal uh, and then some people say oh how do we know it's not the Russians or Chinese and I think one guy made sense it's like if it was the Russians or Chinese they would have been taken over the world by now with that superior technology so yeah <clears throat> pardon me I'm having uh, congestion issues but yeah I think it's just high time we just address it head on and I don't think that they are here for any positive reasons or to help. So I would not be one to be fooled or to think, you know, that they're here to help. Sometimes I think a lot of us have been saturated with too many Hollywood movies. And we get information from that. I mean, I'm sure there is some soft disclosure in there, but it's not a good idea to contrive a movie script in your head and behave according to uh, you know some soapbox agenda that was put into a movie and then you're really in <laughs> deep trouble when you try to apply that to real life I mean just just on a, on a pragmatic level I mean something as simple as uh, you know some of the stunts they try that doesn't work in real life so trying to approach this from that perspective is I think would land you in a heap of trouble way in over your head and <clears throat> I think it's good to take a pragmatic slow analytical approach with a lot of caution I just I don't trust anything I just wouldn't trust anything that they say they mean like the government or aliens just 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 based on past dealings and if you research history I just think this is, uh, I don't think this is anything new. I think that we've just been dumbed down, kept in the dark. I'm sure we've interacted before long, long ago. And this is just kind of like a redressing of the same trick that unfortunately a lot of people will fall for because they want to live in an escape. 
I mean, a lot of us try to escape in the, on online. We escape with you know our vices, but I think it's time to have a sober head right now <coughs> and take into, into account everything, everything. Um, question representatives. I mean, I'm sure they say things are going to come out in a couple months. You know, whatever. That's fine. I mean, if it's up to me, I would just say, go away. <laughs> no, I mean, we, even even if you didn't think they were here for any nefarious reasons, we have an issue getting along with each other. We don't need another species to complicate things. So, even if you even if you you don't believe in anything um, biblical, spiritual. Just on a just on a practical level, we have issues getting along. So, adding another species into the mix, sentient at that, is just going to complicate our lives much more than they already are. Yeah, I know that may not be popular, but that's how I see it, and I truly believe that that would be evident if. Um, well, it is. It already is evident with people being uh, already taken, abducted, traded, whatever. You know, I wouldn't welcome any of that. I would refuse any of that. People are being already being bargained with and traded. So, see, it already doesn't bode well. Anything that's been so in so secret, there's really nothing good behind it. So again, it's not something I would trust. I just wish that they would have come clean a long time ago. There's so much evidence so many um, interactions you know there's people seeing other people disguised walking in plain sight walking among us in all other countries are seeing different things flying around in the sky that are not planes not weather balloons things that you shouldn't rationalize away <coughs> excuse me i do think that this is a psychological term that says when the ego can't accept reality it creates its own even even putting that in pragmatic practical terms it's true sometimes when we don't want to accept something we create our own fantasy we create our own reality that's not real reality so i think also this will mess with a lot of people's heads uh i think they need to prepare themselves to swallow the truth and realistically uh, accept it for what it is from what they see and not try to go with any fantasies it's almost like, um, you know, when you're, I mean, this might be a stretch. You know, when you're going through, somebody leaves you or breaks your heart. You don't want to accept it. You can't believe it. And it takes time. Uh, I think people just should be more sober and accept whatever comes and not try to rationalize that there's any good coming from this and prepare yourself accordingly. And I'm not saying anything drastic is going to happen or anything like that, but I just wouldn't just fall for anything that the media says. A lot of us already know, right? Research for yourself, because right? everyone has an agenda. Uh, even we do. Even you yourself, you have an agenda. Try to be, try to suppress your own agenda and try to be as abstract and objective as you can. And, you know, I try to be. I know I probably falter. I know some of you are probably offended already by something I've said, but just something uh, I thought I would talk about uh, I think I've taken enough of your time but I really appreciate it and uh, please take the time to like and subscribe thank you thanks a lot for listening <laughs>